Hey guys, Boda here. Today we have a clip of Elma baiting the Social Security Administration. Go figure. I'm sure they could have guessed that one, Boda. Probably. This is a fan request, though. A repeat request, actually. We've done this sort of thing before, but people keep asking for it. Is it the repeat offender one? Yep. Oh, goody. I liked this one. Me too. Let's get into it. Social Security Administration, how can I assist you all today? Yeah, y- yes, dear. I-, I was just speaking with uh, uh, Brian Miller, but we got disconnected. He was right about uh, okay. to, to tell me about um, uh, something that was happening uh, with my, with my no social or, or something. Can you please help me out with your first and your last name, miss? Uh, it's Elma Fisher. Elma Fisher. Yeah. Yes. And what's the zip code, miss? It's 24701 in Bluefield, West Virginia. Bluefield, West Virginia. Okay. And uh, did he give you any case ID or any reference number? Uh, no, no. He, he just uh, gave me his, his name and he told me that he was about to uh, pull out my, my file. And, and we got disconnected okay. for some reason. I, I don't know what happened. No problem. Can you please give me your first and your last name? Dipshit, I just did. I told you it was Elma Fisher, did I not? Okay. And my sister, you said, right? M-A-S-T-I-T-A. Is that the last name? F-I-S-H-E-R. I don't even know what you said. It's Fisher, like fisherman, but without the man. Okay. How do you spell your last name, miss? I just spelled it for you. Are you deaf or something? F-I-S-H-E-R. Oh. Actually, your voice is breaking up. Your voice is breaking up, miss. Still, you're not audible to me properly. Can you please go slow? F, as in father. I, okay. as in India. Okay. S, okay. as in scammer. H, as in hoax. E, as in everyone. R, as in run. Okay, Fisher. Yes. All right. So, Miss Fisher, I got something fishy for you now. Something I think fishy. somebody is trying to use your name. Yes, somebody is trying to use your well, name how would in they another use area. My name? And they are, I don't know, they are using it for fraudulent activities like drug trafficking, money laundering. Well, if they were using my name, it doesn't matter what they're doing. It, it's all fraudulent, of course. It would be... As soon as they use my name, well, that's that's the actual fraud. We don't know, basically. Why, that, why are they using my they name? Are calling you. Well, maybe they, they are finding it you an easy target. Well, they can easily target you and use your name because they know that you live by yourself. There These is nobody around scammers. you. These damn scammers. Oh, my goodness. Yes, that's the reason. Have you ever been a victim of an identity fraud ever in your entire life? Uh, well, there was there was a, an issue that happened about uh, about a, a year and a half ago. Yes, uh, it was a whole uh, sort of a okay. embarrassing uh, thing that happened. Okay. What happened exactly? Can you please explain? I don't brief? really want to get get uh, totally into it. it. It's a kind of an embarrassing uh, uh, situation that happened. So did you lose any of your money out of that situation? Uh, yes, I did. I lost around, uh, I lost what uh, four thousand dollars. Yes. Oh, okay. I see. Yes. No problem. All right, I see. But this process are still using your name for this kind of They're activities. Still using like they my are, name. Uh, using your yeah, yeah they're I, I using it I, for fraudulent I, activities I, like money laundering. I went through, laundering, through you guys to, to have that all uh, sorted out. Oh well, it's not yet sorted out, Miss Fisher. Oh, so we goodness. have to take care of this matter, or else you're gonna face the legal well, do consequences. I have to pay you guys again? Can you tell me. Ah, uh, well, you don't need to pay me any any money over here, okay? Well, it'd be we are not the, those, the government secure account. Yes. Correct? Yes, that's what I'm telling yeah, well, you. Well, we yes, are not yes, that's how you did it last time, too. We are too. trying what? to protect your identity. But I thought that the last time that that's what was happening, and then I paid $4,000 to make sure that my, identifi- my identity wasn't stolen. Now this is happening again? So you paid for protection for your identity? Well, it was, to, it was to, to secure all of my funds. Uh, all of the, the rest of the funds in my uh, uh, to make sure everything was uh, not able to be uh, stolen or uh, I don't know. So I'm very much sure this now. That's a year and a half ago taken now. By those fraudsters. Yes, that's what I'm it was, what about. You, it was no, Somebody that, that was it wasn't fraudsters. It, they, the, the the fraudsters weren't able to get anything. So you just said that you paid four thousand dollars for that. To you, to the Social Security Administration. No, we haven't received any money from. Yes, you, I. I gave it to one of your agents. I gave it to Kevin. Do you have any 
Kevin Hughes. Kevin Hughes, his name was. I remember his name because I was speaking with him uh, for for uh, for two days. I remember okay. it. I remember so, that part. His name. I no remember problem. Kevin Hughes. So I you, gave him him the how, card numbers of the those payment. government secure cards. He said it was no, supposed to get it back, no, no, but no, I no. didn't ever get it back. Government, listen. No, 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 no. Let me make it very clear. Government, if people working with government will never ask money from you, they well, will not it wasn't ask you to get It's supposed any kind to be money. I was supposed listen. to be verifying it with the card numbers. Listen, Ms. Fisher. Listen to me, Miss Fisher. No government employee is allowed to ask you money for protecting your identity right but he didn't and that's ask for he, no that's not what it was for it was to it was no, to make no, sure no, that no, all no, of no, my no, funds no, weren't no, no. secured no you haven't made any you haven't made any money paid to social security office i make I, sure yes that. i did I this was a year your, and a half ago i, can, I lost no, four thousand dollars because of it don't you, do you tell have, me do you have do you have any and it receives or anything which which make us prove believe that you made a payment to Mr. Kevin Kevin from Social Security. Do Kevin you have any Hughes, H U S E. Kevin. Kevin Hughes. Okay, I got you. But do you have any receipts for him? The money uh, which you paid? I, uh, no, no, I don't have any receipts. It was all settled. He told so me that it was I'm all settled, you. and then I come to find out that the, the money was gone off of the off of these uh, government secure cards. And he said that I was supposed to uh, get it back uh, the next uh, the next day from Which somebody back? that come to my my home to uh, give me a cashier's check, and it never happened. So did you 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 never received any money then back? No, I did not. That's why I said I lost four thousand. Oh I lost it. I did. Oh my God! No, 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 Miss Fisher. Then that means that you have paid that money to those trusters who are using your name, and that's how they are using your name since last one and a half months. Oh my goodness, Chris! This was a year and a half ago. So they are using it from last one and a half months. Still, I can see that there are. Uh, unknowingly, there are around 14 bank accounts which has been registered under your name, oh and there goodness. are seven credit cards which has been using under well, your how, name. Well, how am I supposed to deal with this this time? What am I supposed to do? Well, the very first thing, the very first thing is you will have to take care of this by getting a criminal lawyer for you because this case is now on the peak where you're gonna be taken into custody because the fraudulent activities that has been done under your name. That is something like, as I said, drug trafficking, that, this, that's money what laundering, they said the last time and too. supporting, H how? supporting to the. How? That's what mm. it's real. They are now doing the last time. Okay. What sort of okay? What sort of fraudulent was, activity? Well, uh, there has been uh, thousands of dollars has been wired from one account to other account. Okay. Locally yes, they, and they said that. Yes, to drug countries, narco countries. In yes. the countries, I'll I'll give you the name. It's yes, countries like, like Colombia, Mexico, Colombia, Pakistan, Jamaica. Yeah, I, I know that's what they said last time. So, what what other fraudulent do, activities? Well, uh, they have uh, conducted over here. I can see they have made fourteen different bank accounts in different different states, uh, yes, and yeah. uh, they are using the yeah they are using your name for well, this kind of activities. Well, that's why I had to that's apart why from, I had to get the the cards because have, because they were using my social security number to this, open a bank account especially. and they didn't know which ones were mine. Yes. That's why I had to get the cards. Yes. Yes, to secure my funds. So still still you 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 secured your 4000 which is not yet refunded to you back. That's so what, now how yeah, do yes. you will how will you take care of this matter? Well, I, I mean, I considered that money gone long ago. I considered mm -hmm. that's uh, 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 And still are you using the same bank account, bank account which you used to do deal with last one and a half year ago? No, I closed all of that down. So how many bank accounts do you have now? I just have one bank account. And that is with Bank of America, I think. No, it's with Chase. I used to be with Bank of America. Mm -hmm. And Chase, uh, that is there is one uh, trading account, then there is one saving account, and there is one checking account. So all these three accounts belongs to you? I don't have a trading account, no. So do you just have saving and checking? Yes, yes. All right. And uh, what sort of a money you have in your saving? I can see that it's more than $8,000 you have in your savings. And well, checking yes, it has... More, more than twenty-five thousand dollars. No, no, no. That's that's wrong. You're looking at the wrong account. I have around uh, one thousand so in my checking, and I have around uh, fifty-three thousand in my savings. Sixty-three or fifty-three. Fifty-three, five, three, fifty.
Okay. No problem. Let's see how can we resolve this case. So, Ms. Fisher, give me your social security number just to verify that you are, everything you said is true. Well, how would that say that let everything I said was true? Let me just, I need to verify it, right? I need to Shouldn't check you that I'm done that at the beginning of the call? Right. I think you messed up there, buddy. Uh, it's 235-251015. Give me a moment. Uh, yes, yes. Get a pen and a paper handy. Meanwhile, I'll be right back in a minute or two, all right? Uh, yes, all right. No problem. Thank you for holding the line. Thank you for your time and patience. Now, Miss Fisher, you tell me when uh, hello? was your hello? social issue? Hello? In yes, can you hear uh, me? Yeah. Oh, yes. Can you yes, hear so me? Well. Yep. I can hear you. Can you tell me in which state your social was issued and in which year it was issued? Which year? Well, it was, it was uh, issued in West Virginia, in my home state. In, in what? You mean what mm -hmm. year? Mm -hmm. It would have been after I got out of college, uh, uh, 83 or 84, I believe. Mm -hmm. All right. And uh, now verify me your complete address or this recorded line. Wouldn't you have that in front of you? I do have each and other thing. That's the reason I said verify to me. Okay, all right. Uh, I can't understand why you're doing all of this uh, this far into the phone call. I've been talking to well, you for 15 minutes. You already, you are already claiming, you are already claiming that you have made a payment of four thousand dollars to Social Security. Yes, and you're that's claiming that your Social very, Security administration. That's the reason. That's the reason I'm very suspicious right now. Yes, I'm very suspicious as well because the last person you're telling me yes. turns out wasn't the Social Security administration. So that increases the chances that this mm. that this call isn't actually the Social Security Administration. Right. You're right. Right. Logically, right. right? You're speaking to a scammer. Logically. Yes, you're speaking to a scammer. You're correct. Yes. Now give me your complete address over this it's recording. It's 1001 line. Edgewood Avenue, Bluefield, West Virginia, 24701. And as you see, that's what is on my file. Hmm. That is Linda Avenue or Edgewood Avenue? What did you say, Linda Avenue? No, I said Edgewood Avenue. Edgewood Avenue, okay. What, no, aren't you looking at it? Wouldn't no, you be able to I'm match it up with what it. I'm saying? Um, oh, no, I don't believe exactly anybody, right? Well, you said that you were looking at my file, that you were verifying my address, right? Yes. 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 Well, right. I just said my address, and you asked me to clarify what I said. I you should be able to see it and hear what I say, and you'd be able to yes. tell that that's what I said. Yes. Yes. 101, 1001 Edgewood Road, Bluefield, West Virginia. Yes. That's what you said, right? Yes. Okay. No problem. Just give me a moment. Cool. I get an option over here now. What we have to do is, okay, we're going to go ahead and protect uh, all the details provided to you, all right, but not yes. by taking any money, okay? We don't yeah. need any money from you. What you have to do is, in order to protect your identity right away, okay, yes. without paying any money, you'll have okay. to send me your state ID or your driver's license. Okay, I'll give you the number where you have to send that. Yes. I will attach your identity, okay, with the documents which I have under your name. And I will be going ahead and claiming the courthouse that Miss Fisher was a victim of an identity fraud. And yes. she has been scammed by $4,000 by somebody. And she wants some money back. So I have to claim this thing to the attorney. All right, so that I can go well, ahead I mean, and get a refund uh, for at, you. At this, at this point, uh, I mean, that that's not my concern. I mean, uh, obviously, it's that's a year and a half ago. No problem. But as we are concerned, we just take care of more than a uh, day. Uh, yes, yes. Okay, regarding uh, this kind of fraudulenty that has been done under their name. Yes. So no problem. Are you willing to send me your ID card? Uh, yes, I do have something. Or, uh, I think I can send you, card. yes. Well, I don't have my uh, my driver's license. Thanks. I do have an ID, though. Um, uh, what what number do I send it to? What are you? Yeah, I'll give you the number. What are you going to send? Because I have to mention in this verification. It's, it's my my passport. Your passport, okay? Yes, yeah. No problem. So you can write down the number that is five zero one. Yes. Three six one. Three six one. Yes. Five seven seven five. Five seven seven five. Keep the line open and send it to me on this number. Once you are done, just let me know. Yeah, okay. Yes.
Are you keeping me on mute? No, no. What, what, what did that matter if I did? Maybe I wanted to fart. No, it's, it's no problem, but this, you wanted to fart. Okay. <laughs> Perhaps, yes, and the lady doesn't want you to listen to that. <laughs> Said uh, 5775. Yes, go ahead. Do you want me to repeat the numbers again? No, I, I sent it off. It's five zero one three six one five seven seven five. Did you receive it? I'm just looking for it. Oh, okay. All right. Just hold the line. Yes. Yeah, yeah, All right. Now yeah, I want yes. a live picture of you. Click your selfie and send uh, it no, to me. No, no, okay? I don't. I don't do that sort of thing. I, I'm not doing that sort of thing for anybody. I don't care if you're a government organization. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not fit right now for any kind of picture to send to you. You're some no kind problem. of pervert. So I don't know who you are. I. I don't. Okay, and no I, th problem. I don't think your I'll supervisor would uh, appreciate you asking a, a, a citizen for no a problem. picture of them. Thank you so much. Uh, it was pleasure speaking to you, oh, Mr. Really? Uh, Fisher. Oh I yes, yeah. Because you're, you need yes. to go scam somebody else I that's going to so going to give you their picture. Well, there it is, folks. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button, comment down below, and subscribe if you have not already. Then hit the bell and share. And until the next one, vote out. You have been invaded by Oda.